Hey, it's Jeremy with the Naperville Fog Bog. Uh, it's June 2024, and that means uh, we are getting ready for Halloween. And uh, just a couple months comes up fast. So uh, we've been using the Cumulus machine. Uh, it's a great machine. It uses uh, sonic mist with fog that passes through it. It's got a bunch of computers on it. It's uh, pretty scientific. It gets great results, but I've been seeing a lot of people on online on YouTube that make these little machines. And I think they are fantastic and a great supplement to spending $1,600 on a machine. Uh, this can be done for about uh, $200 plus a fog machine. And you don't even need a huge fog machine. We are using a uh, Hurricane 1600, but uh, you can use a 400 watt machine that you can probably find on Amazon for less than $50. Uh, the mister is a uh, sonic mister. It's got 12 heads on floats. The floats allow it to stay the exact amount it needs to be from the surface of the water. Uh, this little knob right here, that once it is out of the water, it'll automatically shut down the uh, sonic mister to prevent any damage to that. Um, distilled water, about $1.25 a gallon. Uh, the benefit of that is that your heads will not uh, get caked up and uh, they will be at optimal performance for much longer. Uh, with the, with the uh, cumulus machine, we definitely use distilled water because you can't get to those heads uh, in order to change out those uh, head uh, plates on the top. But since this is an open machine and we can just pull that sonic mister out, we can actually just twist off the heads and they sell these replacements fairly cheap. So if you don't want to spend, you know, five, six dollars a night on distilled water, you can easily just use tap water and replace the heads as they deteriorate. You will need four gallons of distilled water or four gallons of tap water. So there's three different ways to achieve low-lying fog. One, the most popular probably being dry ice. The second, using just regular wet ice. And then the third is using a sonic mister. With the sonic mister, you want your uh, sonic to be floating on the top, which allows just for the perfect amount of exposure from the top of the water. And uh, what we'll do when we turn this on is you'll get a sonic mist cloud. The fog will then pass through this tunnel and then go through the mist and then out and it'll be dispersed. Now we put the bag on the end because sometimes that helps with low lying to achieve the low lying effect a little bit better, but uh, we're gonna test this out right now. Now let's test this thing out. Look at that fog move. Now all we did was just cut the bottom of the plastic bag and it flows low to the ground and then it floats right back up and makes it easier for people to play in. The benefit of having the semi-rigid dryer vent is that you can conform it to fit your machine. Now you never really want to get a totally tight uh, fit on this nozzle end of your uh, fog machine. Uh, you just want it to be kind of loose like that. It doesn't have to touch. Some people recommend an inch. With these uh, the Chauvet uh, Hurricanes, they're pretty durable, um, but uh, some of them don't have this protector right here. And um, with this one, I'm comfortable letting it touch pretty much like that. Uh, I may have to figure out a better system to secure it for uh, windier days. Like I said, you don't need to have some crazy expensive machine like this. A 400 watt machine will be totally sufficient. Um, you could even add a, a, an exhaust fan or a duct fan or a computer fan to kind of push things through this unit a little bit better. But uh, this is a 20 gallon tub. It's got five gallons of water in it right now. If you end up uh, buying a fog machine, a timer function will definitely help. Uh, only because you can run it on continuous. I'm gonna keep this one at a uh, low, probably about five for the output um, intervals. I'll keep it so it pretty much runs continuously. And then duration, eh, 15 seconds or maybe even 13, we'll start with that. Um, with this, I can hit continuous. And you can see it's not really pushing too much through there. It's running at a really low capacity probably need a little bit more in the output here. 
but you can see it does create that nice low-lying fog just to be swept away by the wind. And that is how you make the whole made fog machine with extra fog and fun to play with. Thanks for watching.